Interesting times ahead over in Italy as this weekend sees first up against second and we'll talk about it next. That's right folks, back once again with another prediction video, this time looking forward to match day number 26 in 2018-2019 Serie A season. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to keep your bang up to date with all things Serie A related. And of course, Blackburn Rovers related. Boom, football related. We're going to all here under one roof. Now let's, before we jump into match day number 26, we're going to take a look back at match day number 25. See how I got on and I'll tell you right now folks, pretty good. I'm telling you, I did pretty stinking good this weekend. Uh, kicking off, it was AC Milan up against Empoli. Uh, ended up as a comfortable win uh, for the home team. AC Milan 3-0 winners. Actually saw it as a 2-0 win for AC Milan. So not too shabby, boys. Just the one goal shy. Uh, Torino up against Atalanta. Ended up being a 2-0 win for Torino. Uh, and that puts them into the old uh, European spots as well. Into sixth spot. I saw it as a 2-1 win for Torino. So two out of two, boys. Two out of two. Frosione up against Roma. Uh, ended up being a, quite a tricky game for Roma. But coming out on top of the 3-2 away win uh, actually saw it as a 2-0 win uh, for Roma as well so 3 on the spin uh, not too shabby if I had an accumulator or whatever you call it an acker going on I would have pretty pretty good results here uh, Sampdoria obviously they're not they're not correct bang on the nose scores but the results are correct Sampdoria took on Cagliari uh, ending up as a 1-0 win for Sampdoria and again that pushes them into the uh, securing their top 10 status at the moment actually saw it as a 3-1 win for Sampdoria as well meanwhile this is probably where I slipped up a little bit Salsulio up against Spau now Spau are in 15th spot Salsulio are in 11th after this game and that ended up all square 1-1 folks I actually saw it going in favour of Salsulio who started off the season in tremendous shape but they're kind of dropping off the pace a little bit they just need to kind of kind of dig their heels in a little bit because if not they could get so Sucked into that old relegation scrap, but uh, hopefully that's not going to be the case. Kievo up against Genoa now. Obviously, Kievo have have been grinding out some results recently, and they grinded out one this weekend or last weekend up against Genoa. Neil Neil actually saw it as a one-one, folks. Um, you know, you got to give them a little bit of credit for digging their heels in their arm to now double digits. They did have some points deduction as well. I think if they if they hadn't had the points deduction, they would be on thirteen points. There's only three points uh, uh, shy, but they would still be in, in trouble. Uh, Bologna took on Juventus this weekend. Uh, just the one new win for, for the leaders and champions are still remain unbeaten but that could change this weekend I actually saw it as a 4-1 win uh, for Juventus so a little bit bold on my prediction but ultimately I got the correct scoreline boys uh, or correct result uh, Palmer took on Napoli as well Palmer uh, where are they these days they are mid-table after this loss against Napoli who have themselves went for a bit of a rough patch uh, with their with their recent results uh, but they came out on top 4-0 winners I got this one wrong, folks. I went against the grain on this. Uh, I went with a 2-2 draw, so not too bad. Or pretty pretty terrible on this one. I was, that's probably a banker. You probably should have went. I should have went with uh, with Napoli. And if, if so, it would have been just the one blip. Uh, uh, Fiorentina took on Inter Milan as well. And that ended up as a 3-3 draw, folks. I actually saw it as a 1-1 draw. Um, so not too bad indeed. Uh, and obviously the last game, Lazio against Udinese, has been postponed for whatever reason. Uh, I went with a 3-0 win. So that game has been reshuffled. Um, we're not going to count that one uh, so only two incorrect score lines folks or incorrect results the rest pretty much bang on the nose but anyway we are talking about it in a minute it will be uh, second against first um, uh, and that's the last game of the weekend but first and foremost Cagliari will take on Inter Milan uh, this weekend Cagliari coming into this in 14th spot one win in the past six games up against Inter Milan who have lost two of the past six but most recently they've turned a corner uh, unbeaten in three but I'm going to go with Inter Milan on this one and win them could close the gap in on second spot depending on what goes on uh, with Napoli a little bit later on uh, and Pauli uh, up against Parma this weekend as well. And Pauli coming to this game in 17th spot. Um, hodgepodge last few fixtures. Uh, they've lost three of the past six up against the Parma side who are unbeaten. Or oh, sorry, they've lost uh, four of the past six games and haven't, haven't actually uh, won one in five. Uh, so 2 0 win for Empowerly on this one. Bit of a surprise. And that win could see them a leapfrog uh, or a few teams up to 14th spot. Uh, AC Milan take on Sausulio, obviously. Uh, AC Milan are in fourth spot, 45 points on the board, up against Sausulio, who are in 11th spot. And Sausulio have not won in five games, uh, whereas 
AC Milan are unbeaten in at least six games, uh, winning their last three. So I'm going to go with AC Milan on this one. Quite comfortable. 3 0 win over Sao Studio. Lazio will take on Roma. It is the Roma derby. Uh, Lazio are in eighth, Roma are in fifth. Uh, Roma unbeaten in at least six games. Lazio, though, ugh, a bit of a yucky kind of form, really. Uh, they've won two of the past three, but before that, uh, in the grand scheme of things, the past six games, they've lost three of them. Um, so I'm going to go with a 2-2 draw on this one. Obviously, derbies, especially with Lazio at home, you've got to give them a little bit of an edge over Roma. To, uh, I know Roma will be the fancy of the two sides, but the home form will sway a huge factor in this. Torino up against Chievo. Uh, Torino are in sixth spot up against Chievo, who are bottom. Uh, usually, I kind of I've been giving Kievo a benefit of a doubt um, recently, but they're going to lose this one though, three-one against uh, Torino, uh, who are unbeaten in five games, folks, uh, and their last loss was a while back. Um, uh, uh, Udinese up against Bologna. Udinese come into this in 16th spot. Bologna come into this game in 18th spot. Relegation dog strap this one. Udinese winning the last game. Uh, Bologna, though, haven't won in a fair bit, three or four games. Uh, so I see this as a draw. I uh, won't be happy for everyone. I think Bologna would rather have the win uh, to get themselves because a the win could see them get out of the old drop zone, push Empoli in there. Genoa take on Frosione. Now Genoa come into this match uh, in 13th spot. Um, unbeaten in the past five games up against a Frosione the only side who are in 19th spot who've won two out of the last six uh, but I'm going to go with Genoa on this one and that win could see them uh, go into the into 11th spot uh, depending on what goes on with South Studio. Spau take on Sampdoria now Spau again start of the season tremendous form but they are now looking over their shoulders uh, the old drop zone up against Sampdoria who are in ninth. Uh, Sampdoria come into this though with a bit, bit of a ropey kind of form really losing three of the last four games uh, meanwhile Genoa come into this game uh, well, what's their form book they're actually unbeaten in five um, did I say Genoa? what well, I meant to say was Spau Spau come into this uh, with ropey form uh, haven't won in five so I am going to go with a draw on this one folks 2-2 uh, in the end Atalanta will take off Fiorentina tough one this one Atalanta are in seventh uh, Fiorentina are in tenth Fiorentina unbeaten in the last six. Uh, Atalanta have yet have lost the past two on the spin. Uh, I'm actually going to go with a Fiorentina away win here. And that win could see them jump into the old European spots, depending on what goes on elsewhere. And there it is, folks. The big one, the fruity one. Napoli up against Juventus. Now, Juventus come into this game, obviously, tremendous form. Unbeaten in 25 games uh, up against the Napoli side. I'm not too sure when their last defeat was, but they've lost three this season. Now, I, I think if Juventus are going to lose this season, it's in this game. Um, I think if they can get, if they can sidestep this one with a win or a draw, um, they could go all the way. They could be the Invincibles of Italy. Um, and I am actually going to go, being bold on this one, I'm actually going to go with a home win on this one. Uh, there'll be plenty of goals to talk about. Five goals in total. Three for Napoli, two for Juventus. And that will give Juventus their first defeat of the season and end their unbeaten streak. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a good old thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button. I'll keep you a bang out today with all things Serie A related, Batman Rovers related, world football related. We've got it all here under one roof. And make sure you drop your own predictions down in the comment section below to see what you think will happen this weekend. Uh, with the tasty games in match day number 26 in the 2018-2019 Serie A season. It is the big one. Over in Spain, they got El Clasico. Over uh, in Italy, they got, uh, I don't even know what they call this game, if it is anything you know, special. But it's basically first against second. It is do or die for Napoli. Basically, I think the title is over, but it could at, at least uh, stop uh, Juventus from doing an unbeaten season. Anyway, let me hear your thoughts and opinions down below. And I'll see you again, same time, same place, next weekend, I believe, uh, for some more uh, Italian football predictions. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.